Hello, everybody. Lost here. Senior, back in an episode of Survivors of the Invisible Strain. Uh, still having to wait. On uh, the weather. You know, more fun problems of not ever get, getting what we need. I've also done some thinking on how trying to set up trap systems and how trap signs work. And the future base that I would make is only going to have one exit and entrance to prevent like traders from trying to wander around into the trap signs. And then leaving the trap, like putting signs near the entrance of the, of the base, hey there's traps. But if you try to perch from the base from any other angle... Ooh, wait. Really? Wash. Oh, that must be one of the... Damn it. I got turned. Okay. I'm gonna try to uh, track that one down. Still here, dear. I should probably have a lot. Uh, anticipation. Mm 
of looting a possibly very important body. We need to deload into the chest right there. Throw down a save. Wait, that's I think the other traitor. Yep, because the traitor had all those water bottles on her.
they're not really a good person to join anyway, even though I have zero percent.
achieve the need to be in a close combat fight and then shooting him with bullets.
Um, a single gate system would also reduce my amount of people I need to put on watch, because I only ever need to really watch the gate. And if I heavily trap the other sides of the walls, that means anyone that would have explosives or anything that could actually harm us would probably fall into the trap and not want to cross over into all the traps. Unfortunately, she died. She got bit by white strain, which pretty much a death sentence. I'll try to repossess her goods. Well, it's another unfortunate thing is that is like the only traitor in the map.
gonna try to give them both a proper burial. I didn't really think about the other one. I just kind of ditched their body. Let me spare wood just available. No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, that's right, I got the female contact. The, the female contact. Yes, my brain just locked up and that repeated the exact same wording. Although, from what little I know from the lore that I've got, I don't, I don't think going to female is the best idea.
Where the hell am I going? See a new wandering trader has spawned. I'm guessing the wandering trader, the amount of wandering traders, are dependent on the amount of communities on the map and how many the population modifier.
Because if we had somehow, like, if the white strand map was in the center of the map, they were all, like, this side and I was over here. So them wandering through that would cause them to get infected. Us, get, go through the infect they call white strand. Which, as you see, when you have a pistol, and the pistol, even at headshot, does basically no damage. So I'm having to just shoot them in the legs until the legs don't work no more.
That's 25 pounds for 350 fluid ounces of vodka. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty four, twenty four pounds. That is fifty, hundred, hundred fifty, two hundred. So, yes. Putting all of the vodka into a jerry can actually is a better strategy than just carrying it all. Uh, I won't do that to the wine bottles as it's kind of hard to give them as a gift when the entirety of the wine is in a giant freaking jerry can. some more jerry cans out here somewhere. At least buckets. Or empty jerry cans. I'm assuming buckets are more unwieldy compared to jerry cans. Oh, buckets are the exact same. that we're going to have are going to be carried on our persons because we can easily delegate like 20-30 pounds of food to each person.
But it's 400 pounds worth of fuel. Yeah, I'll put in the van. That'll be it for this episode of Survival Strain. Next time, it looks like a level one bandit group is beelining it towards our base. So I'm gonna go probably go out there and confront them with a lot of fire. Uh, on that, uh, hopefully winter will finally, or their cold snap will finally end. I can start farming my mass amount of corn. So uh, I can start producing fuel to leave this hell map. It's not as it's not that bad. The only problem is that we have a heavily fortified rear group with every survivor on the map that isn't us just kinda hanging out and uh making I, I there's no way in hell I'm fighting that. I don't have the resources nor the people to do it. 
nor do I want to slowly start recruiting when I could just probably leave and find a better map with more survivors on it. I didn't think the lack of survivors beat that much of the issue, which it is, because, well, when there's a lack, they all turn into bandits. Anyway, like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and peace.